name is Hao Zhiyang, and uh, today I'm going to talk about how do science and technology influence our life. When we talk about influence, we always focus on the period of time so that we can see the obvious difference between the situation before something and that after it. So, in order to state how science and technology influence our life, I focused on a very, very long period of time from our ancestor to our far future generation. So, here we go. This is the history of a human being. About seven million years ago, our ancestors firstly could be called humans. They were living a very tough life. They had not enough food and uh, often died of coldness. So, at that time, people died very frequently. And gradually, they found that leaves and animal leather could keep them warm. So, this simple technology has guaranteed their survival and decreased the death rate. And one day they found that a stick may enhance their strength to hunting big animals. So they realized that with the stick, they don't have to worry about hunger like before. And from that time on, people started to use tools. And at that time, I believe they have invented some very interesting technologies, but from our side, it's very original. And uh, maybe they even know how to smoke. Do you believe? I will show you. Living in caves and hunting for food, our ancestors stayed in this kind of situation for a very, very long time. And but one thing that silently happened, eventually um, changed their lifestyle. That is farming. And uh, since more and more people know how to farm, um, they abandon their formal lifestyle and get dedicated more time on the ground. So about five thousand years ago. About 5,000 years ago, farm age began. And since a part of people can produce enough food for the whole population, the rest of people don't have to farm by, them, so by themselves so they can do something they want to do. And uh, this directly lead to the formation of careers. And at that time, we have tailors that make clothes and blacksmiths who make tools and uh, maybe doctors to treat simple diseases and uh, of course scientists do simple science um, researches and uh, that's where science first come into being. Mm. At that time farmers were also engineers. I see some thing that they invented sickle to cut the rice and uh, stone mile to make the rice to cut powder and the water wheel to help people work. This technology and science dramatically improved the, the living quality of human. So people are living a better and better life.
And about 300 years ago, a steam engine was invented. And uh, this was just like thunder from the sunny sky. Because people <coughs> first realized that the inestimable power of the machine. And uh, with the power source machine, began to show its great power to human society. People also started to design all kinds of machines with the power source, and like trains and the cars, which um, totally changed people's lifestyle. About 200 years ago, another great invention was happened which was the electric power generator. And from that time on, electric age began. Now this, how we look at our Earth from the space nowadays, you see these lights, it's the masterpiece of our human being. And uh, this invention, light is just a simple little part of our whole invention in this age. We have uh, lights, tele telephone, telegram, and TV, and all kinds of things. Every invention make a very significant influence in this society. And I will take the washing machine for example. Before the washing machine was invented, what do women always do at home? Cooking and washing clothes. And up, since we have washing machine some, one day, women are liberated from the honoring, tiring, boring washing work. So they can do something, whatever they want. Every, every invention has the same significance for human society. Everyone has the more time to do whatever they want. So since we have more time to, to use our intelligence on the things we like, the science and technology improvement goes faster and faster. And about 20 years ago, finally, the internet came into being, and another new age started. That's information age. This, in this age, our world is connected to the extent that has never been reached, and the information is exchanged at a speed that has, we cannot imagine. And uh, this all because internet. Internet is changing our society to a direction that we are not even ready yet. So I want to share an opinion of mine. See, when our society developed from the Stone Age to the Farm Age. It took millions of years. And from the Farm Age to the Machine Age, it took thousands of years. And to the Electric Age, it took hundreds of years. And to the, to the Information Age, yeah, we are now. It took about tens of years. And what will happen in the future? Maybe some years later we'll go into another new age, maybe. So our technology is uh, improving faster and faster. Let's imagine what will happen a million years later if our human beings still exist in this universe. What will happen a million years ago, uh, later? What will the technology be like at that time? I think. They will all beyond our imagination. Our imagination cannot describe what the world will like. But one thing is certain, that at that time, building spacecraft, building space battleship will just like a piece of cake. They can travel in the universe like we walk on the road. So at that time, people may have the ability to go to another planet to have a, our new home there. There's a problem we have to consider, which was um, come up with a famous scientist. 
now our universe has the has it, it was 137 billion years of our universe since it was born. So a million years in this universe is just like a second or a day. Our human, it took a million years to reach that high technology level. What if, what if there is another civilization in this, in this universe that is born one million years before us? That is to say, now, the civilization has already reached this high level technology when we are in this low technology level. So if they have reached this high technology level, they can come to Earth just like working on the ground. And they can find us if they want. But the problem is, where are they? Where are they? There are three possible reasons to explain why there we still cannot see them. The first is they totally don't know the existence of ours. Second is they know us, but they don't want to come. The third one is they already have come, but we just don't know. I personally prefer to the first opinion because our solar system has sufficient resources. If they reach this that high technology level, they will know the value of our solar system and they will come, try hard to come and utilize those resources. So since there's no convincing evidence showing that they have already come and living in this solar system, so I believe that they have not found us. And I also believe that it is not wise to send message to them because we have no idea what kind of civilization are they. What if they have a normal role? They are very evil. They want to destroy everything and just want to um, use the resource we have. And the famous physical scientist also said, please do not contact aliens because we may cause serious disaster. Okay, this topic is a little far away from today's topic, so I will go back. Since, since the technology influence develops very quickly, we can see maybe after hundreds of years, our society will be like this. We will have cars fly, flying on the sky. We will have screens. It just looks like there's nothing at all. We will have robots living just beside us and we will have space on the moon or Mars, other planets and we can travel in the universe very easily. This future technology is very amazing, right? But it's a pity that we cannot see all these technologies come true. But what is true that we can try hard to make them come true? That's our job. and so. Let's work hard and make them all come true well. Thank you very much. That's the end of my presentation.